Hotep Gemini, welcome to your four lovers only reading for the month of August 2021, love. Okay, so baby, I can see that you're dealing with somebody here who's making you a bit frustrated because this person has a fear of uh, taking the relationship with you from one stage to the next stage, okay? This person right here uh, is very nervous to do something like that, Gemini, and all up in their mind about it, uh, listening to other people, talk to them about it, because it's like the connection that you two have together is so strong that this person got to get somebody else's uh, opinion, because love, you have engulfed their mind, okay? They can't think of anything else but you. This person, you have been, you have, uh, you know, flooded their spirit, uh, Gemini, okay? So this person, whenever they feel your energy, it's like paralyzing. It paralyzes them right there in the sexual chakra or the root chakra, okay? This person is just paralyzed right there. They start breathing really heavy. You ain't even got to be on the scene, baby. Your energy is doing this. This person, you're having sex with them energetically and mentally because you are a mastermind and they didn't know who they was dealing with, but that's okay, Gemini. That's okay. You got their mind. Now you just need to get their body. And I have a total of nine decks out here to see if that can help you do that, master. Like this person scared of the wand, the kitty, and the booty. Here's a deck on Dark Mirror as the first deck I have. Gemini, check it out, check it out, baby. Naked before the stars. So, okay, this person, first of all, whenever they get a glimpse of any of your flesh, it's like it's just shining to them okay this person like okay here we are this is them this person has uh this uh black lingerie on i can see they got their hair done it looks like this may be the night that this person go ahead and allow you to get them naked before the stars because you're about to give them everything that they hoped for this night gemini okay you're going to be a complete master of this body right here they're going to have on some black lingerie they're going to have their hair done in like braids or twisties or or something like that or locks or full or full locks they're going to have their hair done up like that or could be somebody could be somebody of a, a, a different uh, racial background they just have different texture hair okay so if their hair out it looks like it's braids or, or flocks anyway because it's already full now here we got the um the camel on terror okay clarifying that baby look gemini here we got the nine the chalices Gemini, that's the nine of chalices. Now, the, baby, this is the highest level. There's no uh, number higher than nine. This person, whenever you get them naked and they're on top of you, could be male or female, they are going to outpour such emotions because just to have you inside of them or to be inside of you has been such a long a uh, dream of theirs before they even met someone like you. The energy is so strong. It is so, it's going to be so satisfying when you get this person like this. But the way you get this person like this, Gemini, is to be more emotional. Okay? Be more emotional. Be more, you know, uh, not so cerebral. You know, not so mental, but more in the soul here. Now we got the uh, psychic tarot. Okay? Psychic tarot, baby, second deck or third deck. We got two cards that came out here for you. See, this person is trapped in fear. Trapped in fear, Gemini. I don't know if you see that the light is good or not. But, uh, yeah, they're in some type of prison of their own mind, their own making. They don't want to be, uh, like a, a disappointment to you. They don't want the connection to be something that is, like, lagging. Because, like I said, this is a spiritual union you have with this person. It's like, when you see these two people, their minds have come together as one, okay? So, it's like this person... Your mind has completely overtaken them. <laughs> Your energy has completely overtaken them. And when you put forth the effort with the three attack on wands, Gemini, 
and you give them the wand to go ahead and orally pleasure or the kitty or the booty. That maybe somebody like to be up in the booty gym now. You never know. But here we got the daggone effort card. This is the uh, three of wands. You're putting forth a strong effort mentally, spiritually. And when you finally get this person, uh, you know, uh, physically, it's just going to be on. It looks like this person right here, if you're a male Gemini that I'm talking to, it looks like they uh, are just going to be completely in love with the wand. Like they're going to have it in their mouth and just want to suck on that bad boy all night long. And if it's a kitty, they're just going to want to have their tongue all up in that kitty all night. Now let's go ahead and get some light on it, baby, with the light sears, okay? Light sears, baby, here we go. Boom. Well, Gemini, look, check this out. Check this out. Look, Ace of Wands. Page of Wands. Well, that's telling me that this person is good. The, the fire and the heat that you are already giving this person mentally. Okay, this is a mental uh, thing going on here with the wands. Somebody in somebody's head feeling all types of passion, feeling all types of, you know, um, a sexual desire for this person. Okay, this person eventually is going to continue on if you don't give up. Like, uh, what I'm saying is, Gemini, if you don't break the tie mentally with this person, then they will go ahead and throw their fear up in the air with the page of wands, okay? They're not going to be afraid anymore. They're going to tuck, they're going to take the leap towards you. They're going to come and give you some type of a uh, message that they are ready, baby. They are ready to go ahead and do this. They are ready to go ahead and take it to the next step. Here's the deck on King of Swords and the uh, Queen of Pentacles, okay? Now, this is telling me that, uh, first of all, you may be dealing with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King of Swords is you, baby. You're telling this person right here it's on. Now, here you are too much for this person. See, this belly right here is a representation of you just being too much inside of them. Like, you're too strong. This sword right here is a representation of, you know, the wand that you have, you know. It's like this is a very strong seduction. You want this person to go ahead and cut out uh, their fear. Because if they don't cut out their fear, or if they don't do it soon enough, or communicate with you soon enough, baby, you're ripping their clothes off okay ripping their clothes off because it's a very beautiful person that you have right here uh gemini so you're like very sexy very sexy very powerful person that you have right here and they're very much into you and if they do not go ahead and take the next step and stop being so fearful then you're going to go ahead and rip off their clothes gemini now who is it that we talking about here could be that's what they want you to do, baby. Here's this Leo trying to get all that daggone attention. Want you to rip off their clothes and whatnot. Like, yeah, baby. Oh, let show me that you want this body. Here we got the Mercury. Somebody communicating. Like I said, this person is about to communicate. This is a hermit right here because this is a Virgo card as well as you stepping on the scene with your own energy. Gemini, okay? You're a very strong communicator. This is the reason why you got this person all up in their mind. And you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just very strong with you, Gemini. Here's the Jupiter, baby. This person uh, is is a Sagittarius that um, enjoyed their freedom before you came along, baby. You just went ahead and started talking to them. And that's all it took. Okay, Gemini. Well, go ahead with your bed. So, here's Saturn right here. It could be karmic. This person has to learn something from you. Doesn't necessarily have to be bad karma. But here's uh, a Capricorn and an Aquarius that you got all up in it. Okay? Here's the moon energy. This person has been keeping secrets, though. And the secret is how strongly they are sitting here manifesting this encounter, this sexual encounter with you, and acting like they're afraid. Gemini. So this person sitting up here manifesting and uh, dreaming and, well, yeah, of course they are dreaming because you're all in their mind and, and their energy field. But it's like, okay, this person is dreaming and manifesting you. So it could be that this person is doing some type of ritual work here. Like maybe they could be... Um, masturbating to you okay this person is masturbating with you in their mind and it's like you know it could be that you are feeling a, a stronger connection with them because of that because you know masturbating is mastering the art of baiting someone uh spiritually uh mentally is 
definitely sexually. Now here's the earth energy, feeling all sensual and whatnot, right? Okay, trying to make you feel all sensual and whatnot, or this is something that they are doing to, you know, engulf you with uh, what it is that they're trying to do. Now, now, Gemini, you may be dealing with a Virgo, but this is the earth energy, Virgo, uh, Capricorn uh, Taurus you may be dealing with somebody like that and they may be doing some type of work on you and that's the reason why or being strategic and that's the reason why they're acting so fearful like oh I don't want to be together I don't want to go to the next level with you because you know I have such strong feelings here we go with the Menara if they talking to you like that then uh, Gemini I'm thinking that this uh, person now, Virgo tried to come out, so that's telling me that this person could be a hermit, could be somebody all to themselves. They're not somebody who has a lot of people around them. They may not have a lot of social interaction, period. And when they came in contact with your mind, okay, because you are the mind of the Zodiac, when they came in contact with that, it was just the ultimate, okay, it was the ultimate. Now, Gemini, this here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, okay? Love, I'm the Cosmic Divine Tarot, and to those of you who are just now joining my channel, welcome to my channel, and thank you for your support and for watching my video. I hope you hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and to those of you who are returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Let's go ahead and deal with this uh, person uh, with the nine of chalices being naked before the stars. What else do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay. Anything? Okay. Mm. Where in the world did this come from? Gemini, this is the Ten of Air. I remember giving you a reading where you put something on someone so bad that this person, you know, had to follow you in a vehicle. You know, there's, there's running after the helicopter, Gemini. So it looks like you want this helicopter again. This person is trying to hold you back. Let me see, love. How does this connect with these right here? Hmm. Well, this person is probably afraid, more than likely afraid of being backstabbed, afraid of somebody else taking you from them because you're going to feel so good to them. You already do, but then when you have this sexual encounter and y'all waters and fluids and whatnot are mixing together and this person is open, being naked before the stars and being vulnerable to you, it's like this person right here is very much afraid of somebody else taking you from them feeling backstabbed and betrayed okay that's how i see it that's how i see it they're afraid of of having all types of satisfaction with you and i'm talking about experiencing all kind of orgasms too here gemini it's like the nine of chalices each of these chalices represents an orgasm so you mean to tell me while you inside of someone's inside of you you're going to be experiencing up to at least nine orgasms gemini I don't want to meet you, baby. <laughs> Whoever this is resonating with, I just I don't want to meet you. No, nah. come on. Here we go with the um, uh, the fear, trapped in fear. And well, how about this uh, this three of wands going on? It's like putting forth an effort after being trapped in fear for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay, we got two cards here, baby. Mirroring. Okay, and the uh, the seven of water. Hmm. So this person wants to put forth an effort because they realize that you have put forth an effort. Now they want to mirror you, okay? They want to mirror what it is that you're doing. Like, okay, here we got this person being saturated with the seven of water. They're being saturated with all types of energy. Your energy field has took their body completely over. I mean, it's all over their breasts. It's all up in the booty, the kitty, the wand, all over their hair. You know, this person, this is all up and down. This is your energy right here. The reason why you're wearing all black is because the energy is like unseen. It's just being felt right now. This person wants to go ahead and mirror that back first. They want you to feel that energy they want you to feel what it is that they are feeling now this person could be looking in the mirror one day checking out to see if their body is fine as your body okay and then taking a shower and about to go ahead and come on over to you with the seven of water okay that could be saying that too could be saying that this person <coughs> oh excuse me this person is very much you know 
dang, I'm, I'm lost. It's like, this person is lost right here. It's like, this person is like, they don't know what the heck to do. They want to mirror your energy, but it's like, you, you're too strong for this person, okay? Let's go ahead and put the uh, Ace of Wands right here. Ace of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Daggone Pentacles. Here we got the Judgment. Yeah, absolutely perfect card to come out here, uh, Gemini. If this person didn't go ahead and loosen up or won't go ahead and loosen up, you're going to rip off their clothes. You're going to rip off their clothes, and that's going to be your judgment. They're about to be laid out, uh, you know what I'm saying, booty, bald, naked, booty, butt, naked, and just completely done. And that is what they are fearing, love. They're fearing you doing something like that. They're fearing you putting your foot down and allowing this person uh, no more time to uh, be no longer or not intimate with you. Here we got the love oracle cards here, love. All right, let's go ahead and get it. Yeah, this person right here, they like... Uh, It could be that they're trying to clean off your energy so that it's not that powerful. It could also be that this person has put forth such an effort to give you all types of oral sex or will be giving you all types of oral sex. And then once you're in the shower, after y'all have sex, this person is too sh afraid to jump in the shower or about to take off all their clothes to get in that shower to mirror you because you're trying to relax. Okay, this person has a difficult time relaxing. <laughs> what else we got for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, well, about this Zagwell person. Here we go. We got, um, and my cards fell. How many cards fell? These many cards. Okay. Okay, we got back together and stabbed in the back. What in the world? See? See? They feel an heartbreak. Oh, they don't want to feel the heartbreak and pain of being separated from you, okay? And then coming back together. This could be somebody who you're dealing with, who you're reuniting with, that y'all already broke up, who is in pain from the separation, okay? This person may already know what you're like sexually. Ooh, check that out. They may already know what you're like sexually, and that's why they're afraid, because they know that you're going to give it to them. Here we got destructive habits. Maybe the relationship ended because of some type of destructive habit like addictions to gambling, alcohol, sex negatively impacting relationship, okay? The toxic thinking and behavior. The toxic thinking and behavior is what went ahead and, and ruined this bad boy. But let's see what this person got to say to you while they're being all secretive and, and masturbating, trying to get you, uh, you know what I'm saying, to feel the type of energy that they're feeling. Because this will go all types of ways, baby. Cards can read all types of ways. Let's see what you're trying to say to Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay. Ooh. Don't stay out all night just to punish me. Okay. Mm. That could be you saying that to this person. Or oh, I don't know. It could be them saying it to you. It could be Gemini that you're staying out or staying away from this person until they go ahead and relax and stop being so fearful. And they feel that you are doing that to punish them. They saying, don't stay out. Don't stay away from me. Tell me that you want me. Gemini has already told you that they want you. <laughs> now it's time for you to tell Gemini that you want them. And if they don't do it, you're leaving. Baby, please come back home. Mm, mm, mm. Now you mean to tell me this is somebody you live with, Gemini? No. No, Gemini, you don't live with this person. You couldn't live with this person and this person is uh, this resistant to you. You were this daggone close. They, 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 uh, this is them. This is dumb, baby. <laughs> this is dumb. And, you know, if you if they were that close to you, you would have been ripped off these clothes and looked at this person's butt. Let this person just just observe their beauty, observe their sexiness. They're like, have you made up your mind yet? Mm. This is definitely you talking to them and them talking to you, okay? You got some things that you're saying, and this person got some things that they are saying, okay? Love was just a game before I met you. Mm. Whoa, they were just playing with people's hearts and emotions and whatnot. Now they're talking about, I don't want to stop. You don't want to stop what? <laughs> what don't you want to stop for Gemini? Let me see, baby. What don't you, what the heck going on here? Cars throwing all over the place. Okay, ooh, I don't want to stop. What about the booty? They don't want to stop coming after the booty? Mm, 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 mm
Now, how about can we just lay down and hold each other? Okay. They don't want to stop laying down, holding on to the booty, grabbing hold of the booty, smacking the booty, kissing the booty, loving the booty. Gemini. Okay. Now, maybe they're going to start off with the booty because the booty is, is, is like a, what? The lesser of the... Lesser of the evils, okay? The booty is lesser than, you know, but ain't that gonna happen with the booty. Go ahead, smack the booty, kiss the booty, rub the booty. You know what I'm saying? And everything gonna be all right. I can't face another day alone, baby, okay? They can't face another day without you, Gemini. While you up there like, I ain't trying to deal, man. I know your body been yearning for me. Ooh. Definitely an ex. Definitely an ex. They already know. <laughs> They already know. This is your last card, baby. But this ex talking about falling for you was a mistake. I'm so broken now. Gemini, you gave this person the opportunity to go ahead and show themselves to you. It could be that they were afraid and you decided to go ahead and leave this person with the seven of water right here. This person done found you. You in the bathroom taking a shower. Somebody gonna let this person in. It could be that they have a key to your house. It could be that they have a key to your house, okay? Now this person is coming in. Mm. Well, let me see, love. Let me see. Now, you got one more card from the soul truth, okay? Your ancestors, the deities, the universe want you to ask yourself this question uh, while you're dealing with these type of situations, love. And it's saying, where can I ask for more help in my life, okay? Hmm. So, it's like you're trying to conquer and, and do everything yourself, but maybe this person should have been some type of helpmate. It says, until we can receive with an open heart, we're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. Ooh. Now, that's deep. That's deep. This is... This is not for you, Gemini. This is for your person. <laughs> they need help, love. Tell them when you talk to them, give them a, a soul action today. Tell them to ask somebody for help and receive it with an open heart. I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. That's right, baby. I'm open to receiving it. They asked for Gemini. They got Gemini. Now they're acting like they don't know what to do with Gemini. Or they're trying to get Gemini back manifested again in their life. And they act like they don't know what to do now that Gemini is here. Gemini ain't got all this time to be wasting on this fool. I know, Gemini. You ain't got all this time. But they're about to communicate to you something and tell you a little something, something. Okay, love? Now, this has been your reading. If it resonated with you, then hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know I will be uploading new messages for you today or on that, whatever day. <laughs> Gemini. Also, if you enjoyed the reading and you want to tip a sister or leave a donation, I certainly will appreciate that love. And if you want to... um. A personal reading then the way to contact me will be in the description box below as well as uh if you want to leave a tip or a donation okay now i'm going to end this here love peace love you and light i'll tap gemini